We continue to follow breaking news overnight. There was a second night of protests in a Minneapolis suburb following the deadly police shooting of 20-year-old Dante Wright. Last night, police arrested 20, 40 people, and some officers were injured by thrown debris from protesters. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne joins us now live at the digital in the newsroom with the latest on demonstrations and the investigation. Good morning, Roger. Good morning, Wendell, and good morning, Nicole. The chief of police in Brooklyn Center says the officer who shot and killed Dante Wright accidentally used her gun instead of a taser. Wright's death continues to spark protests and outrage. Protesters and police faced off for a second night in Brooklyn Center. Are y'all gonna kill me too? Tear gas was fired as people stayed out past the 7 p.m. curfew, <laughs> calling for justice after the death of Dante Wright. The 20-year-old was killed during a traffic stop on Sunday. Body camera footage shows officers attempting to handcuff Wright when he got back in his car. It is my belief that the officer had the intention to deploy their taser, but instead shot Mr. Wright with a single bullet. Officer Kim Potter, a 26-year veteran of the force, fired the deadly shot. She has been placed on leave pending an investigation. My heart is literally broken into a thousand pieces. Katie Wright is Dante's mother. He was my life. He was my son. And I can never get that back because of a mistake. China Whitaker is the mother of Wright's one and a half year old son, Dante Jr. That's not fair that his son um, can't have his dad in his life. Wright's death comes less than 11 months after George Floyd's, which sparked days of violent protests in the Minneapolis area. Second time we had windows broken. Cortland Steele's business was one of several in the area that was vandalized during protests. I really do believe the community is hurting whatever. I mean, it, it, some changes need to happen. Now Wright's mother has continued to urge protesters to remain peaceful even as she demands justice. Right now, the Twin Cities metro area remains under a curfew until 6 a.m. Central Time, a little less than two hours from right now. Live in the newsroom, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.